Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see monitor Azure virtual machines. We will talk about the monitoring of virtual machine and in the subsequent videos I will show you how to enable monitoring, how to alert, how to set up alerts when the machine is down, how to collect guest logs and metrics. So, let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, to begin with, let's see what Azure Monitor is. You click here, you you will see different things when you type in Azure Monitor. Okay, you type in Monitor. The first service that you see, click on that and the Monitor, we call it Azure Monitor, though it is listed as Monitor here. Right, so in documentation you'll see it. So when you have critical applications, when you have critical applications and business processes that rely on Azure resources, it's important to monitor those resources for their availability. You have to monitor their performance, their uh, operation. All right. So in here, to begin with, the first thing that should come into your mind is Azure Monitor. It is a full stack monitoring service that provides a complete set of features to monitor your Azure resources. So if you'll see uh, here insights, you have application insights, virtual machine insights, storage accounts, container, network, Cosmos DB, Keybolt, Cache for Redis, different services, right? And you don't need to directly interact with Azure Monitor. Though to perform a variety of monitoring tasks because its features are integrated with the Azure portal for the Azure services that it monitors, right? So by default, when you have certain resources, it will monitor those resources, right? So if I want to monitor virtual machine data, so Azure virtual machines collect the same kind of monitoring data as other Azure resources. So if I tell you, so now I, what I'll do is I'll create a virtual machine quickly to show you the, the alert span or the monitoring tab on the virtual machine and discuss about certain options that are available as part of monitoring or the metrics or the activity logs that we can use to monitor our virtual machines. Okay. If you know how to create a virtual machine, that is awesome if you don't i'm just creating it now you click on the virtual machine section service in the azure portal you have an existing resource group that you want to use use it if you don't have it you can create a new one by clicking here okay give it a name i'm just Quickly created window virtual machine, small size, password, I'll enter in the, to log in, no, delete with VM, just quickly going with defaults as much as I can, right? It will create a new VNet. If you have an existing one, it will show you under uh, the drop down. It will have the new IP. I don't want any tags. Let it review. Let it do the final validation check on the options that I've selected. If you see the cost, if you want to practice anything, it will not charge you see one or two rupees per hour that's not too much to actually study right you can download a template here or you can click create creating the virtual machine i'll pause and come back okay i go to the resource that is my vm And I click on the overview page. In the overview page, if you see this monitoring section, 
and if you scroll down so there are number of active alerts tab the alerts pan shows you the alerts fired in the last 24 hours along with important statistics about those alerts so i have just created this vm but you'll see if you see the key metrics here if you see the all metrics here it'll take you to the all metrics from here we can do that but if i go back here click on monitoring cpu average network total disk byte disk operations availability right and enable a recommended alert rule so get notified on important monitoring events by enabling commonly used alert rules for creating your own custom rules so if i click enable i can create alerts here right uh, presenting cpu is greater than 80% available memory disk uh, iops network in total greater than this email and i can click on enable it will enable the alert for me with the predefined if i want to create custom i can change those values any time so it will create an action group for me to send the email notification if ever those conditions are met in my alert rule that i have configured it has created the action group if you see the notification tab on the top right corner and if you scroll down and go to the monitoring again and if you see the key metrics and duration of the time you can change it to whatever you want because we have deployed this machine few minutes ago so the least i can go for is 1 hour for now but if this machine has been deployed it's been quite long then you can select 30 days 7 days as per your requirement and you'll see those metrics if you want to dig down to an issue now if you see the activity log here it will display the recent activity by the virtual machine including any configuration changes when it was stopped or started now if you'll see the uh, the latest log it says create or update virtual machine i click on it i can go through the json to list in detail what happened message right i've created an alert right that was the last thing that happened uh, which is showing into the your activity log if you see the summary who did it it was it is my id right or what we can do is to view the activity log in the uh, portal or we can create a dynamic setting to send it to the log uh, workspace now if you go here and if you click on diagnostic setting here you can have the storage account here or or you can run diagnostics after the installation finishes and now if you want to go for vm insights some services in uh, azure are displays customized monitoring experience in azure monitor these experiences are called insights and they include pre built workbooks and other specialized features for that particular service now vm insights are designed to monitor the entire set of azure and hybrid virtual machines in a single interface when we start monitoring multiple virtual machines in our azure environment we might want to consider enabling vm insight for the following features i want to have simplified onboarding of the log Uh, analytics agent and the dependency agent so that i can monitor a virtual machine guest operating system predefined trending performances the dependency map and what not right
and if you want to see how to enable vm insights in the azure portal i can make a video on that okay and now if you want to collect guest matrix and logs so azure monitor starts automatically collecting metric data for the virtual machine host when you create the vm and to collect metrics from the guest operating system of uh, the virtual machine we must install an agent so as soon as i enable vm insights a log analytic agent is installed and starts sending performance data to the azure monitor logs which they then enable the performance and the uh, map views okay and now after enabling the vm insights we can go ahead and analyze the metrics which are the uh, numerical values that describe some aspect of a system at a particular point in time although platform metrics for the virtual machine host are collected automatically but we should install the azure monitor agent to collect the guest matrix we will talk about we will talk more on how we enable vm insight so that i'll show you how you, how you enable how you analyze metrics and now you analyze logs and then alerting right so this was a small effort in giving you an overview how we can enable or how we can monitor the azure virtual machines from the native monitoring options that are available to us through the azure portal i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day